a space that should ideally hold 40 babies, but this newborn unit at the Kiambu Level 5 Hospital currently has over 60 babies, all in need of specialized care. This is the same number as those who lost their lives here between December 2018 and January 2019. These numbers have been cited as alarming, but the hospital and the county governor say they are within normal parameters. So as far as we are concerned, uh, in those two months, uh, out of the 2,000, some of the ones that we have lost were not, in fact, even delivered here. They were only brought as newborns, some of them in very bad conditions. Neonatal mortality in the whole country is normally at 22 births per 1,000. If you look at what you call the DHS or what we report to our national government, Kiambu County has a rate of 15 neonates per 1,000. So you can see a difference in the type of uh, the the number of uh, neonatal mortalities. According to the hospital's management, the high number of fatalities are linked to the equally high number of referrals from outside the county. The private hospitals refer those patients to the Kiambu when they, 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 they know that the, 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 the newborn is almost dying because they want the brain to come to this hospital. In some cases, when they are delivered here, uh, there is some mishandling. Because from where they are born, maybe they are transported here through Matatu, by Boda Boda. Some of them are carried by their mothers to this facility. And uh, on the way, somewhere they are, some of them get some, they are, they are contaminated uh, items are, are used to, to wrap the, the, the newborn. So when they, they are brought here, there are issues. The complaints have attracted the attention of the Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board, which is set to conduct its own investigation to ascertain whether the hospital's version of events hold water. Brenda Wanga, NTV.